Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Burgess, and in today's video, I'm going to continue my attempts at learning to use the Hake brush. So I've got this Rockingford uh, watercolor paper, and I've drawn a horizon line, sort of a, a third of a way up the page. And what I'm going to do is just do a quick um, drawing of where the um, land masses will be. And I think what I'll do is um, have it sort of something along like that. This is where the land mass is going to be. And we'll have a clump of trees along here. I just, I'm not going to follow this um, religiously. I just want to have an idea of where things are. And, uh, what we have is a sort of a piece along this way, like that, and sort of all the way along here, like that. These will be further in the front here, like this, sort of like that. And this land will hopefully come along here. have sort of rock formations along here. Just This is just a sort of a guideline. I'm not going to follow it as I say. I've got rocks and things along here. And what I might have is a sort of a, a mountain along here like that. So I'll start off by quickly wetting down the whole page. This is the 25 millimeter hake brush sweat the whole paper down because what I want to do is make um, some of the colors come into the sky area uh, sorry into the water area here so the whole page is dry so I'm going to put down first of all yellow ochre Just especially along here Just along the whole thing <clears throat> Now I'm mixing a watery wash, a sort of watery wash of ultramarine blue and I'm just going to put that in the sky. Like that. Now I'm going to go in with some Haynes Grey. Now with a bit of tissue, I'm going to do a little, I'm just going to lift out just the odd sort of bits of cloud here. <clears throat> Here a little bit, a little bit in the distance there. Along there, and then go in with Haynes Gray again and just darken. <coughs> And that's my sky. I'm going to leave it there and I'm also going to add just a few touches of whatever I've got there along here as well. Just a teensy weensy bit here like that. Maybe lift out some things here. like that. And now we're going to let it dry. Now the sky is sort of still a little bit damp. What I want to do is 
I don't mind the. Um, I'm going to put the mountains in. I don't mind if they sort of merge into the background some of it. So I'm just going to put them in like that. And uh, I don't mind it going behind this this tree clump either because that's going to go on top anyway. And I'm just going to. And that's going to be the mountain and no more, no more. <clears throat> and now I'm going to try painting in some of the land masses because the sky is still a little bit too wet for the um, trees to go in. So what I'm going to do with the land mass is I've got some burnt sienna, <clears throat> ultramarine blue, Winging it along, actually, now. <laughs> I'm winging it now. I don't know what I'm doing here now. Take some of this out in the back here. Vary the colour a little bit. want to make sure it's sort of fairly intense along the front here. And now I'm going to work on that tree in the in the front in the back here on this side. And for this I'm going to make it just go in there and do it really. There it is. more dark accents in certain places. And let that sit. And while that's sitting, I'm going to try and scrape out some rocks in the front here. For making indentations in the paper to make it look like there are dark branches, sorry, dark trunks in the distance here. And I'll just go over the bits here like this as well, just a few. Yeah. And a little in the distance there as well. And that's going to shift a bit later. Wait, we have to wait for a bit. I'm going to shift some, sh some rocks here to in the back in the distance. Just to give this tree, um, this is just to give this a tree line feel. Uh, now it's shifting. You've got to wait for a bit, otherwise um, it'll be too runny, and uh, you'll never get it to shift. And we do this one here. Make these a bit larger. If I make it larger, the indents look like branches now. I was using the corner of the brush, but um, it's better actually. So that's the tree line here. But this one I'm going to use um, green. It's going to be deep green and a little bit of burnt sienna. Here, this side. Just using the sort of tip of the brush here, like that, and I'll leave a little bit here, and I'm going to do it again with a few darker, darker ones. Like 
I wash the brush out because I want to lift a little bit of colour from this portion here at the top, just a little bit. Just do like that and a bit here. And then with my rigger, I'm going to branches to, or, or, or twigs or something to make it seem like they are sort of connected like that, like that. and then with the end of the brush what I'll do is along here, different colours. What I'm going to do with this is, um, in a minute, I'm going to do some bit of scraping again. Wipe the end of the card. And it's not done yet. It needs to settle a little bit more. I need a little bit more it needs to settle. And now what I'm gonna do is let's see if it's able to scrape now. Not quite. Let's leave it for a bit. A little bit more. something that looks like I'm going to be able to scrape rocks into the water. I don't know whether this is going to work but uh, I think it's worth a try. It's a bit bigger. A few along here. And just go back in and try and scrape this if we can. Sun going here. With my rigor, um, some, some shadows back in there. brush out a bit and and some let's put some dark very dark it needs to be darker under the under that land mass. Just put a little bird in there somewhere. Maybe along here. A 
on this one there to work our way. Maybe one more. So here we are, um, another landscape using the hate brush. Uh, do let me know what you think in the comments section and let me know how you think my hate brush attempts are coming along. Do consider subscribing as well. I'm trying to follow for the trees, especially these two trees, the Ron Ranson method where he's sort of just going in with the brush, just sweeping, sweeping, sweeping. And I tried to do the same with the sky. I hope you enjoyed that and I do hope you think that this it looks like a sort of a stream with rocks in it. I do hope you think that. Do consider subscribing and do give this video a thumbs up. And I'm going to put a link to uh, a playlist for all the hate brush paintings I'm, I've been doing so far. And I hope you enjoy it. Thanks very much for watching and see you again next time. Thank you.